Hey, how you doing? This is Africans Arise. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, then please do so now. And also you can check out the Facebook group, which is Africans Arise Now. Please like the Facebook page, tell your friends. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I see as the, the, the demise of identity politics, the demise of, of the victimhood mentality, and the rise of so-called black conservatism within the UK context. Now, let me first of all stress that I'm talking about the UK context, the British context here, specifically the English context here, but, but the British context here, which is what I'm living. I understand that when I'm talking about black liberation and black politics and so forth, there's a lot of people in other parts of the world who, who, who are who are wondering what I'm talking about because it doesn't seem to agree with what they see in their countries, particularly those of you who are in the, U, in the US. But here in the UK, I think it's plain to see that uh, the the old kind of black politics of 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 being victims and, and oppressed and downtrodden are just not chiming with the the, the reality of for for a lot of us you know and and a growing number of us here in the, in the UK are not buying into those old narratives. When we think about what we need in life, when I talk about black liberation and when I talk about black liberation as being the uh, the the when black people have the ability and the opportunity to create and live the kind of lives that we want to live, that basically agrees with what everybody else wants in life. Someone made that comment on one of my YouTube, on, on my video about that, that, you know, take away the black, then it's just liberation and it applies to all people everywhere. And I completely agree with that. That was kind of the point that I was trying to get at is that when we think about our needs in life, this is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. He, he kind of came up with this, this way of thinking about what we need in life. So physiological needs, safety and security, love and belonging, self-esteem and self-actualization. This is what all people really, these are the kind of things that all people really are looking for in life. And you can pause it and have a look at them in more detail if you want. But sometimes people carry on as though black people want something completely different out of life to everybody else. But no, we just want the same as everybody else. And I think this actually goes regardless of which part of the world you live in. But certainly for those of us who are living in the UK and in the Western world, these are the things that we want in life. We want, to, we want to be safe. We want to be secure. We want to have opportunity. We want to have a sense of progress. We want to be able to connect with, with the wider world, bigger issues and a sense of being part of something. You know, and, and I think here in the UK, we largely have got what we need to achieve these needs of ours. Now, this got me thinking about elections and this got me thinking about you know what how are black people voting how, and interestingly interestingly enough what you find is that in the uk whereas in the past black people and, and asian people would 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 vote for the, the the labor party just without even thinking about it things are changing so back in the day the conservative party who were sort of roughly parallel to the to the democrats uh, sorry to the republicans conservatives roughly akin to the Republicans in the US, were seen as kind of racist and, you know, the party of the establishment only, whereas the Labour Party was seen as the party of the people and they were seen as the party of the ethnic minorities, particularly, and black people. This is changing. So this is a newspaper report in the Daily Telegraph called, in December 2014, it said, Labour's crucial ethnic minority vote set to collapse. This was six months before the general election of 2015. And what, it's, what it showed us is that the support for the Labour Party amongst so-called black and ethnic minority people was, was going down. Amongst Indians, it was plummeting by three quarters from something like 80%, roughly down to 20%. It, it had gone down by about 27% amongst Pakistanis. Amongst Caribbeans, it had gone down from what's that? From 70 hold on a second. Yeah, from 78% to 67%. So that's a drop of 14%. And amongst the African community, it had dropped from 79% in, two, in 1997 to six, just over 60% in 2014. So the Labour Party is losing support amongst black people. And the, the flip side of that, another poll done just after the general election of 2015 showed that the Conservatives are much are, are more popular than they've ever been amongst black and, and minority ethnic people. Amongst Asians, it, whereas, okay, 50% still support Labour, but it's about 40% of them vote Conservative. And if you break that down into the Indian, Pakistani and Bangladeshis, Bengalis, you'll probably find that the Indians vote 
overwhelmingly in favour of the Conservative Party now, and the Pakistanis and uh, Bangladeshis less so. But amongst the black pop the demographic, you see that yes, sixty seven percent vote Labour, but twenty one percent vote Conservative, as opposed to according to previous polls that I can see. At, either in two thousand and ten, that was something like single figures. You know, so the, the the conservative vote has doubled amongst the black demographic. So, and I'll put links to these to these uh, to these articles that you can look at and read and and, and do, you know crunch the numbers for yourself. But I think what the I think I think these statistics show, looking at the lay, the voting patterns, I think these show that black people are no longer buying into the victimhood mentality mentality the narrative of that we're that we're being oppressed that we're being downpressed that racism is 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 an insufferable problem to us and i think a lot more you know black people are beginning to see that actually in this society in this country you can get what you want to get if you apply yourselves and if you you know if you use your skills and abilities and work together with you know people like-minded people. You can get the kind of things that you want to get. You can you can live the kind of lives that you want to live. You can meet the needs as as conceptualized by Maslow in his hierarchy of needs. I think this also helps helps to explain why uh, black organisations are less and less relevant to most people's lives today. Whereas twenty years ago, you could find thousands of you know a thousand people at a, you know a, a big gathering, um, you know black organization gathering. Whereas nowadays, you'll be the, the average the average meeting you'll be lucky if you get more than fifty people attending these black meetings, and even the big ones like African Liberation Days and so forth, you'll be you know you'll be pleased if you can get sort of four hundred you know three four hundred people turning up. I think that is because the the, the masses who some of us love to eulogize the the black masses the African masses are just not buying the narrative of victimhood and uh, you know of 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 being the underdog and 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 the underclass and all this kind of thing let me finally say something with regard to the 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 black vote as you can see here according to the the survey that was done the poll that was done in 2014 the there are differences between the black caribbean and the black african uh, demographic when it comes to voting so now, black the black Caribbeans are more likely to vote for the Labour Party than Black Africans are. Although both of them are, are, are leaving the, the, you know, both of them are supporting the Labour Party less than they used to. What I found interesting actually was looking at the list of Black MPs. You find that so there's what's that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight Black Labour MPs, and I count looking into all, all of these people. I count that one, two three, I think it's him, four. Four out of the eight, so half of the Labour MPs are black Africans, whereas all of the black, all of the five black Conservative MPs are black African. So I wonder if this tells us a little something about what's going on with the demographics of the black community at the moment. We know that the black community now in Britain is mainly black African. I think it's about two to one black African, if I remember rightly. I did a video on that. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and I wonder if we're seeing more of a, you know, shift toward the conservatives because of this, you know, this 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 new wave of black Africans who are now dominating the, 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 the demographics of the UK. But um, anyway, to summarise, the point I'm making here is that the, the days of identity politics, the days of, despite all of the noise that's made online and all of the, you know, the hand-wringing and, oh, we're oppressed and we're, you know, this, that, white supremacy and so forth, black people are not buying that anymore. And black people are, are, seem to be much more aspirational, seem to be turning towards a more uh, kind of, I guess you could say, an individualistic kind of mentality where, you know, it's looking to, to make the best of our lives and use the opportunities, the many opportunities that we have in this country to do so. And... It will be interesting to see what happens in future, particularly with regard to the voting patterns, particularly with regard to the younger, you know, the younger, the younger group. But um, anyway, what I want to do in the next video is to talk a little bit now about the global picture. This is focusing on what I know about the UK situation, which is where I live. But in the next video, I'm going to talk about the global situation and how what can we do about the global picture, particularly with regard to the to the African continent. But for now, thanks for watching. This is Africa's Rise. Subscribe, please, and like the video. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you next time.